Craig Hogard with your financial issues egg update. We saw a few folks try and pick the bottom in the corn market yesterday, and that had corn in positive territory at times, but in the end, uh, we did have a lower close for the session. Much attention has been focused on South America, where Brazil's corn crop continues to get bigger. With the latest report projecting the crop at 104 million metric tons, that's up 3 million from the last USDA estimate. The Argentinian corn crop is estimated at 50 million metric tons, which is exactly where the USDA's last estimate placed them. The 3 million metric ton increase in South America and the possible increase from the U.S. this coming fall is projected to exceed the normal growth rate in world demand. The ethanol, uh, weekly ethanol production report uh, that was out yesterday showed an increased production for the week of 14,000 barrels a day, while stocks dropped by 63,000 barrels. As I record this, the overnight spot corn futures are trading a penny lower. Soybeans rallied yesterday when Argentina's Ministry of Agriculture suspended the registration of agricultural exports until further notice. Traders said that the move likely meant a steep increase in grain export tariffs was coming under Argentina's new Peronist government. While we eventually gave up most of the rally, we're still able to close beans two to three cents higher for the session. In the export market, the U.S. remains at a seven to ten dollar per metric ton premium to Brazil on beans delivered into China. Brazil's crop looks like it'll keep getting bigger, with one prominent analyst estimating their crop now at 128 million metric tons. That's up from the last USDA number of 125 million. Combined, the U.S. and South America will probably produce 27 million metric tons more than last year, and the Chinese demand base remains in doubt, so it's really not a good combination for people wanting higher prices. In the overnight trade, we have spot soybean futures trading two cents lower. Wheat prices traded on a defensive as plentiful world supplies and a stronger U.S. dollar pressured prices. We're seeing that price pressure continue in the overnight trade, where Chicago is three cents lower, Kansas City is down a couple, and Minneapolis is a penny lower as I record this. Cotton futures continue to break to the downside, with the May futures closing down 83 points to settle at 65.47. We did some uh, real damage to the charts yesterday, and looking at the retracement numbers, I would expect the May futures to hopefully find some support on the charts at about that $64.30 per hundredweight level. The livestock futures markets were a mixed bag. The April live cattle futures contract finished down 60 cents, while April feeder cattle futures finished up $1.85 for the day. Lean hog futures were slightly better, with the April futures finishing the day 47 cents higher. Class 3 milk futures continued their toboggan ride downhill, with the March futures closing down 6 points as they settled at 1647. In the overnight trade, we have spot futures trading unchanged. Cash livestock markets were weaker straight across the board yesterday. At the close, we had choice beef boxes $1.13 lower to close at 206.34, while selects were down $1.30 as they settled at 198.60. Pork carcass values retreated as well, closing down $1.48 as they close at $64.49 per hundredweight. This has been Craig Haugard with your Financial Issues Egg Update. We'll be right back with more financial issues after this. <music> 